So, finally got the last piece of the puzzle, um, our water tank. But before I talk about that, we actually got our brakes done last week. So we got a full brake upgrade. We got dual diaphragm booster, um, ceramic front and rear rotors, braided live, Kevlar pads. It stops like a dime. Like I couldn't believe how much better it was um, compared to the good old Land Cruiser brakes. I think everyone kind of knows that. But, um, and obviously our water tank. So. It's last kind of thing before we hit the lap to do. Um, it's been a long way. We actually, you know, we spoke to them probably September, October, weighing up a few options what we wanted to do. Um, then ended up ordering one, ordering one early November. So it's been a big wait. And what is it? It's the 22nd of March. So it's been taken a while. Um, we picked it up yesterday. So very keen to put it in. So it's a, a 90 litre long range automotive tank. So it actually sits just in front of the rear axle. So we, we didn't want all the weight on the RC end, obviously because we've got the rear bar, the spare wheel, the weather box. We're gonna have a gas bottle holder and a little single jerry can above the rear tire. So we didn't want all that weight there. So it was gonna be perfect to sit that weight, you know, the central of the car. Gonna put that in. Um, it has a filler that goes next to the fuel cap. And this is actually the filler here I was looking at before. So I'm gonna mount that and then that obviously sits underneath the car, um, just in front of the rear axle, over the top of the um, tail shaft. So it's a bit of a, you know, a bit of a nightmare to fit, especially if you don't have a hoist. But um, should be able to do it and get it in and finish off the car. So very, very keen to actually have running water. We went away last weekend and it's a bit hard not having running water. So <laughs> yeah. I'm very excited to do that and then obviously finish the kitchen. Yeah. Um, Big things. So. Just getting the water done is going to be huge. Yeah. Like just so, having water. Yeah, I'm happy as you. Well, so. um, and it came back too. It came, is, yeah. It came back. Thanks, guys. I yeah. don't know if um, <laughs> <laughs> you hooked me up with the, the, the powder coat yeah. or what, but they, they normally, if you actually talk to them or see them, they, they told us stainless. Um, stainless steel. Yeah. So it is. It's three mil stainless steel, but it's obviously powder coated um, black. So it's going to be. It's gonna be good. You can yeah. sit under the car and you won't even notice it because everything's black. Yeah. the hole last hole for the trophy hopefully um, obviously that's the filler and breather hose um, so rust proofed in there put a bit of silicon on there just to keep it watertight because that is the inside of the car or well, it's not but the next bit inside I don't want any water or moisture so a little bit of silicon on there I've got to quickly put this on um, so that goes in there mounts inside and then the um, hoses come out down in the floor and into the tank. That sits roughly pretty much where I'm kind of sitting, but more on the passenger side. So very excited to put that in. <laughs>
fast forward to now guys, we finally got the water tank installed, what a mission that was. Um, we always knew it was going to be a mission because we did our fit up first. So what we had to do first was obviously jack the troopy up off the floor. I should have used a hoist and I wish I did. It was a bit, bit harder trying to do it without a hoist but I wanted to do it at home where I had all my tools and everything and I actually had two mates help us to install it because it was very painful to try and install it by yourself. So we first, we jacked up the troopy, took it off the ground, chocked it, make sure it wasn't moving, undid the um, tail shaft, then undid the um, handbrake cables so from both sides of the wheels, pulled that away, undid the brackets for the handbrake cables, and then actually sat the water tank up in there, had to hold it, took me and a mate had to hold it up there while someone else marked the holes. We drilled the holes and then had to cut out our floor. So we had flooring down, um, because we obviously did the trippy build inside what well, the trippy fit out um, first before with the water tank because we couldn't wait um, to do the fit out then I had to use a multi-tool and multi-tool out for the actual mount so there were about 200 mil by 40 mil mounts that sit right in the in the groove of the troopy's floor so obviously take the weight of the 90 litres of water plus the tank so whatever it was 100 and something, 100 and something kilos so it's pretty heavy we had to route out the plates and then obviously screw it in and you screw it in from the top down so it was you had to always had to use those brackets um, what a mission that was to try and do it was very tight to actually where they ended up three of them ended up in spots that you can't see so one under the drawer one in the storage box and one in where the battery is so you don't see them i fix them but you don't see them and then one ended up in our hallway so we had to rip up the vinyl and relay new vinyl down which was a pain but we didn't really like the vinyl so it's all right so we got new vinyl down and then after that um after we put the water tank in we obviously put the tail shaft back in handbrake cable goes through um, through the water tank, so there's a hole that's been made exactly through the water tank where the cable goes, connected that back up, and then we plumbed up the inlet side of the tank. So you can obviously he see here, guys, this is the inlet side, so that goes straight into the top of the water tank, and there's obviously a, a um, breather hose in there as well. And then I mounted the pump underneath the car, and then that pump runs to two outlets. So there's one on the rear of the troopy, and then one on the inside for our little sink, which is here. When we fill it up, we use a filter going into the water tank, and then we also have a filter going into our kitchen, so it's a, like a tasteless um, filter, so it's for drinking water, so it makes it taste perfect. You know, there's bad tasting water if we pick up bad water anywhere, and then the one on the back's just straight out of the tank. Um, but yeah, it, we're happy with it. It was just what a what a pain to try and install. So I w wanted to talk about as well how I plumbed up the waste. So the waste pipe actually goes from the kitchen sink down along the back and then comes out just underneath the troopy here. And I just put I've, I've made it so I can put a cap on it. So when we're driving or something, nothing goes up inside it, especially sand or mud or anything like that. You cap it and nothing can go back into the troopy. So this is the, obviously the tap we put on the back here. Works great. We use it obviously to wash our hands, cleaning stuff, or wash your feet or something like that. It's just unfiltered. You can drink it, but we obviously like to drink the water from the inside obviously because it's got a tasteless um, filter inside sorry I mean it's been filtered going in but it does have a filter obviously going out like the one inside we've got it really it's been double filtered so it's being filtered coming into the tank and then it's got a tasteless filter running straight to the tap so we fill up our bottles and drinking water from there really good from here but it's still being filtered but it obviously sits in that tank and obviously after a while that tanks probably gonna get bad and we'll get it cleaned anyway but yeah We've got a last few things to do to the troopy engine wires. So just got the air box out. I'm just putting in pre-filter. So it's a Western Filters kit. So that will sit on this side of the bracket. The bracket's made for to do a catch can and a pre-filter, but I don't like their pre uh, their catch can. So I ended up going with HPD catch can, which is there. Um, I like their design more, and also it's got a dipstick on there so you can see you know, how much oil is in there. So at the moment it's pretty empty, as 
when they had it in for a thousand or two thousand kilometers um, put that in pretty much straight away so got that hair box out so just put in the few bungs on the side you can see that um, and then I'm going to mount it up onto there and then run the lines in and then lead the fuel and then turn it on and should be good as gold. Um, apart from that, that's about it for engine wires on the Troopy. So here we are guys, got the pre-filter in, so that's it there. Um, mounted on the side where the catch can normally goes just because I thought it was a better side just so you have more access to the dipstick. Normally it mounts here and the catch can goes there, but as I said before, with the HDP catch can over there at the front next to the, uh, next to the radiator, not the intercooler. Um, you see the lines going across over to the original um, Toyota filter, so that's them there, run across, up, uh, along the firewall. over and into the pre-filter. So now just to prime up the lines and then crank her over. Good as gold. It's a bit annoying I had to take the air box out to get the bracket in um, under the power steering fluid there. But oh well, let's pull that out, put the bracket in and run the lines and then go from there. It's not too bad, just a bit annoying doing that, but it's good, happy. Hey guys, so Today, just a short afternoon to do a few bits and pieces. Put up our um, caravan, so we decided in, on this spot, just so if we want to sleep with this open, and obviously the bed down, um, we can have this pointing on us, you know, any direction kind of thing. You know, they, they move everywhere, as you can probably see. And then also have this open when we're sitting in here and you know we can point it any, anywhere we want so it's probably going to be the best location we thought for the fan to be that it wasn't going to be in a awkward location the only thing is a bit awkward is the fridge when you open the lid but you just have to flip it around um, like that to get into that side when it's fully down and then flip it around like it's like that when you want to get in this side when it's fully down but to be honest, it won't really annoy us. You can get into it a fair bit, just you can't open the whole thing the full way. I'm going to wire these uh, lights that come in the alley cab into our dual battery because they're off, obviously, starter battery. If anyone had their alley cab done without a dual battery, they'll wire them straight into your main battery. Wire them into the dual batteries. We've got two dual USB points either side, so two for me, two for Anna, um, for charge our phones and Apple Watch or whatever bits and pieces um, when we're sleeping up there and also have some LED lights that I put on outside around the alley cab um, so we can turn it on at night time or you know whenever we want but they actually surround the sides of it when you pop it up so it'll look pretty cool I'm gonna have the the mount just here so we can also use it when we're sleeping and you know if we hear something or someone's walking around our um, car I can turn them on and there's three colors to them so I think that was the best location because we could also access it from the car and turn them on but also use it if we have both platforms shut so we can also turn them on and off without having to quickly turn them off down here and then come back upstairs but we also just wanted them as a kind of security thing just in case you know we can turn the lights on at the easiest touching the button without getting anywhere, moving anywhere. But yeah, so just gonna wire that all into the dual battery so it's running off that, not the main battery and, and yeah. That's about and it for today. That's about it for today. The final last thing is to build this. We've got the timber and stuff, we're just gonna get some draw slides, build them. It's gonna have two, two open drawers um, and then obviously our kitchen and our little tap will go there. So, I we'll think, you mean? yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, little kitchen, our sink. Um, got running water, so the water point's under here. Finally got our cushions back. Um, they took a while to be upholstered, but they came up absolutely so good. 
Um, a friend of my mum's actually did them and she did a great job. We're getting very close to it being done. Mm -hmm. Just gonna obviously repaint one more time as it gets really dirty quickly because I'm always wearing dirty shoes, but it's nearly there. Thank you.